mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Is Lord, is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. I'm still talking about, I don't know if I will leave this name Jesus. Because he is the key. The way you know Jesus matters. The, the way you know him matters. It's not just a matter of saying, I believe in Jesus. I know Jesus. If prophet who received the message from God Almighty cannot recognize Jesus physically. He started asking and sent his disciples to say, go and ask him, is he the one? Simply means it is not what you say or you think as a human being that can make you to be a child of God. No. But what you receive from your father in heaven. Remember, he said, unless you drink the blood of the Son of Man and you eat his flesh, you have no life. Unless you do that. It is only the blood of Jesus that can remove sin. It is only the blood of Jesus that can bear your past. Living without his blood in your blood, family case, will remain in your blood. Spiritual problem will remain in your blood. But if you drink his blood and you eat his flesh, your blood is purified. Your flesh is purified. The uncurable sickness or disease is in the spirit that is now in the blood. Doctor can treat you, but they will tell you to say, you manage this one. Make sure in the morning you take two tablets. In the afternoon, two tablets. In the evening, two tablets. Because they are part of your blood. No one can clean your blood and remove that problem. No one. It is part of you. This is why Jesus said, unless you drink my blood and you eat my flesh, you have no life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, we are going to church every Sunday. There are so many fellowships. If you check online, uncountable. Uncountable fellowship. And no one can argue with you that you are not a child of God. But you know yourself if truly Jesus is part of your life and you are part of his life. And how do you know that Jesus is part of your life? 
And how do you see Jesus, that this is Jesus? That is where the problem is. As a servant of God, eating or living well, that is not the mission of Jesus. If you eat, you start thinking about the church of God. If you are counting money as a servant of God, think about the people who are giving you that money. Are they going to be saved at the end of the day? If the answer is no, then know for sure that you are not hearing from your Father in heaven. Jesus must be part of your life. Jesus must be part of your life. Whether you like it or not, you are not safe. You don't know what you are doing. This is why you see criminals, spiritual criminals, are disturbing everything that has to do with our future. When I say spiritual criminals, I mean demons, witches and wizards, marine power, occultic power, you see, evil people, they are living well physically, but spiritually, they are not living well. They know that at the end of the day, they'll go to hell. But you admire their outward appearance. Because you don't know what is good for you. Let me take you now. Verse 29, John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him. And he said, look, the, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Who takes away what? He came as a messenger, not as a savior. I'm talking about John now. He was a messenger to announce the good news that what has been disturbing you what you cannot handle or resist as a human being. Someone is coming who is more powerful than this sin that are killing you people. Oh, yeah. That was the message John was, you know, announcing to the people. Oh, yeah. He said, look, the Lamb of God is here. Who has come to take away the sins of this world? Meaning, the world is contaminated with evil. And who is the world? It is us human beings. Who is the church? It is us human beings. Have you seen? If the world is contaminated, and the church will be what? Contaminated. He came to remove sin from us. Because sin became part of human beings' life. There are people who, you know, who, 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 who can just say to say, I have finished your work time. How can you say that as a human being? Every life is important in the eyes of God. Rich or poor, we are all equal before God Almighty. John said, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 30. This is the one I meant when I said, a man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. John came physically before Jesus, but listen to his confession. In short, he's telling you that Jesus was there even before I came to be a, his messenger. And he's coming to take away the sins. Verse 31. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came, I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. This is the prophet who is saying, I myself, I did not know him. Let me take you to the point dialect. The reason why God gave me this message. This is 32. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remained on him. 
I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remained on him. 33. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me the man whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who baptized with the Holy Spirit. Come on, people of God. This is the confession of a prophet. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man whom you see, the Spirit, come down and remain. That is the one who will be baptizing with the Holy Spirit. Meaning, without the Spirit of God, it was not possible for John to know that this is Jesus. Are you getting the point? He came to know him because he saw the Holy Spirit coming down. And the one who sent John before Jesus said, the man whom you see the Spirit of God remained on him, that is the one who will be baptizing with Holy Spirit. This is a prophet. God revealed this to John. John was not able to know Jesus physically. If you remember, there was a time he sent his disciples to say, go and ask him, is he the one or there is another one we are waiting for? Then Jesus said, ah, ah, you see the blind, you know, are receiving sight, the realm are walking, and you are asking, go and tell him what you, you know, you have seen. This is a prophet. How possible is it that you know Jesus with your mind without the Holy Spirit? If a prophet cannot recognize Jesus, ha, ah, that's where the problem is. How possible is it that you can be a child of God, a pastor, a reverend, a bishop, without the Holy Spirit? How are you going to know the direction? This is why you see you cannot recognize someone who is anointed by God Almighty. Because the Spirit of God is not in you. John was receiving this message from God Almighty to say, the one you see, the Spirit of God, rest upon his life. That is the one. He said, I myself, I did not know him. What makes John to know Jesus is the Holy Spirit. Come on, church. This is where you need to wake up. If you are coming to this church every Sunday, and the Spirit of God is not reading your life, mm, I pity you. Because you don't know the life you are living. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what is fake and what is original. Evil people are there using evil power to manipulate the world. Without the Holy Spirit, you go there because you are in search of solution to say, yes. John came to know Jesus by the Spirit of God. Let me read this one again. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven and remain on him. And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one. Hmm. If the source of your calling is the same. The one who called you and the one who called this one and the one who made this one to be a believer will be communicating to you to say, even this one is me who sent him. Even this one is me. Even this one is me. Even this one is me. But in a situation whereby you just desire to be a Christian without the Holy Spirit. I am not saying it is wrong for anyone to desire to be a Christian. But when you desire, you need to wait for him to give you his spirit. So that you'll be leading your spiritual life. He'll be guiding you. He'll be telling you everything. The first group that Jesus had, the 72, deserted him. Sikisti ran away from him because of what he said. They were unable to understand his language. Why? If you cannot hear from the source, 
You will not believe in anything that you hear from that mouth. Mwabasha ni abena kristu kwa vlo mpashu wa kwa lisa. Mukeshibasha ni ati yuni yesu. Mukeshibasha ni ati mwadipusu. Because you need to be sure that you are saved. Stop guessing that you are saved. No. You need to be sure if I were to leave this world today, where are you going to be? Where am I going to be? I have come to know these people of God that lesa takatari abo mshio muntu nse ukwa abulo kumupela maka ya kwe. Takatari alengo muntu kubomwa na wakwa lesa ukwa abula maka ya kwa leso kubamuri ena. Because ufilio nga walala nda batatanga babe mba ufilio na ishibe chibe mba. Batatanga balozi mfile na ishwe chiloze. Bamayonga batonga mfile na ishwe chitonga. That is our language. You can't even speak the heaven language. You are busy claiming to be a child of God. Working in the house of God is good. But without the Holy Spirit using you, it's not good. Because you'll be counting of what you are doing in the house of God. If anyone offend you, ah, you start pointing, I did this, I did that. Why are you doing this to me? Do you know what I've done to this church? Look at you now. Are you working for man or you are working for God? It is good to work for God, but it is more important for God to use you. What made Jesus to stand and join? The way this man was killed, ah, they killed the flesh. No one can kill the spirit. Jesus was unable to overcome the world. Not because of, you know, his followers, but because of the spirit of God in him. If you drink his blood, that is my main point I want you to get. If you drink his blood, you'll be pure inside your heart. That is the Holy Spirit in you. Who controls your life? You make decisions according to what you see people, you know, uh, doing, or the way you feel that this is the way. At the end of the day, you see nothing. A spiritual suggestion always comes with solution because it is the voice from above. It is the word from above. The way this man Jesus was answering the learned people, the high priests, the elders, they were shocked. What kind of a man is this? Hmm? This man has never been to school, but the way he's answering, the way he's teaching, where did he learn all these things? Ah. He is a lecturer. Jesus, do you know that Jesus is a doctor? Jesus is a lecturer. He is a professor. He is a president. He is an accountant. He is a police officer. All the careers are within his body. Whatever you become today, without Jesus, you'll be working and working. At the end of your journey, you see nothing but problem. But let me emphasize this point. So that when you go home, you know that you are a Christian or you are not a Christian. John came to know Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Elijah became a prophet, not because of his father, because of the Holy Spirit. Moses was attending to his father-in-law's you know, ship. There appeared the Holy Spirit. He became the prophet because the Spirit of God entered him. Apostle Paul, who was against the church, became an apostle 
Not because of, he went to, I'm not saying going to the Bible college is a sin, please, quote me clearly. But bear it in mind that you cannot fight for God or speak for God. No. You cannot speak for God if it is not God who is speaking in you. They became men and women of God because of the Spirit of God in them. If you drink, Jesus never meant, you know, that you need to cut him and drink his blood. No. It's when you believe in his word, you are drinking his blood. And the word of God will give birth to the Holy Spirit. Then you become what? Pure. We are here because of salvation. Thank you. Thank you. L listen to me. John the Baptist never argued with the miracles of, of Jesus. And what made him to believe that this is the Messiah is the Holy Spirit. How are you going to know the way of the Lord without the Holy Spirit? Jesus came to introduce you to the power of God so that you are not going to depend or rely on human beings' strength or idea which is dangerous to your spiritual life. He never told his people to say, don't follow this man. I don't know him. I don't know where he has come from. No. He said, here is the lamb. I remember one day, the two of John the Baptist, you know, disciples, followed Jesus. They called Jesus, look and say, ah, where are you going? He said, we want to know where you are staying. He said, come with me. They followed him. One of the disciples of Jesus doubted him when his friend delivered the message and said, we have met the Messiah. We have seen the Messiah. He said, ah, can anything good come out of uh, this town? And when he, you know, he, he came to Jesus, Jesus said, yeah, here is now an original Jew. He said, ah, how do you know? He said, I saw you when you were sitting under an oak tree. The man was shocked. Our generation now cannot believe in any message if the power of God cannot be seen upon your life. If you don't know. Even our children, unless the power of God is in you to solve their problem, if you keep on telling them Jesus walks on the water, if Jesus did this, they will ask you, who is this Jesus? You have been telling us about Jesus, but look at the problem on the ground. Gideon complained to say, but if Lord, you are on our side, why are things are like this? Spiritual blindness always gives the upper hand to your enemy. And to make you to be religious and stubborn. To trust yourself. John the Baptist know Jesus through what? The Holy Spirit. How do you know him? You drink his blood. When you drink his blood... The way you wash your body outside, the blood of Jesus is going to wash. Everything that will come out of your body. There you become his property. What is inside your body, if you are, you know, you are able to see, ha, you'll be afraid. Jesus came to connect you to his power. But take note of this message. 
John did not know Jesus before the Spirit of God came upon his life. But the one who sent him to say, go and baptize with water, was communicating with John to say, when you see the Spirit come down and rest upon that person, that is the one who is going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Physical baptism, I mean water baptism is important. But the spiritual baptism is more important because water is just a symbol. Are you there? Are you there? People of God, I want you to know that as long as you remain like that, your enemy will keep on driving your life spiritually. You'll be busy confessing what you are not spiritually, but they are in charge. If they manage to capture the, the, the life of Jesus spiritually, today you cannot talk about his name. You cannot. God of Elijah sent the fire. What makes you to believe in God of Elijah? Is it not the, the presence of the Holy Spirit? Yes. They were chanting and chanting, calling this uh, evil they called to say, come, answer our prayer. Uh, this, this. The one filled with the Holy Spirit understand everything. He knows what is going to happen. He was not scared. The Spirit of God was telling to say, these are fake. You are going to defeat them and kill them. They were busy. The man was just come. 400 something standing against you. The man was just come. He said, maybe cut yourself. Uh, shout, more. maybe your God is sleeping. He was now like reading them through the mocking. Uh, cut yourself, they cut themselves. Shout more because he's sleeping. They will shout more. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Mm, no way. But Elijah said, today, let it be known that in Israel, there is God who answers by fire. Within a minute, fire came down from heaven. And all 400 became what? Scared and paralyzed. Can you kill 400 people? No. What makes these people not to, you know, react against their right? It's the power of God in them. They were arrested spiritually. He read them. Look at Elisha. They were looking for him. He has already prayed and God told him what is going to happen. He said, don't worry. His servant was said, Master, look at the number of people. Hey, we are in trouble. Mm, he went back to say, Master, mm, come and see. Then Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes so that he can see. <clears throat> what happened? The same enemy you were looking for this man of God. He said, you are looking for this man. Follow me. Let me lead you to where he is. They start following him. Blindly. All the commander, the soldier, they were following. Not knowing that he's taking them now back to his own king. People of God. We are more powerful than what is in the world. It's just that we measure everything according to human capacity. You cannot measure the power of God through human capacity. Take care of our mother, please. You cannot. You cannot. They followed him. You are scared of that witch in your family. You are scared of that, you know, a certain is you suspect. You are scared of everything because you are not led by the Spirit of God. Even before you encounter the Spirit of God, you tell to say, this is what is going to happen. Am I communicating to your heart? Don't trust your voice. Don't trust the way you stand, the way you pray, the way you do things. No, God cannot be mocked. Not Amakaya Yes, you are there. You can enjoy, you can dance, uh, you can do whatever, and you feel, yes, we are worshiping God. 
<laughs> Even before our time. Oko bali ava le pepa, fio tu le pepa, ba jamaka ya kwa le sata ba chilechani. Tawaya mwene. I'm begging you. Let the spirit of God lead your life and introduce you to Jesus. Even when you see a man standing before you, talking to you, preaching the word of God, where you are seated, you can ask God, who is this man? Is he a man of God? Or what he's saying is true? Or maybe it's just the spirit of God to minister to you. Yes. If he cannot minister to you now, in the dream, you see yourself that, oh, Father, thank you. He is the same yesterday, today, and the... Even today, you will drink the, the blood of Jesus. Amen. As long as you are here, you will drink it. Amen. That is the scripture player. And when you drink it, the blood of Jesus will go through all your system, all your organs, and purify you, and disconnect you from that evil spirit. The blood of Jesus will follow your spiritual life and withdraw your image from that altar and that shrine and bring you back to the house of God. Amen. Anything connected to your, to your name, when you drink the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will disconnect you from that evil meaning. Amen. The evil meaning that has been there, putting everything on the ground for you, will be removed. Amen. And you start walking like Jesus. Even where they are fighting you, you make progress. Amen. Where they are rejecting you, you penetrate. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because you cannot restrict the power of God. It's unstoppable. You cannot. Where they are gossiping about you, they are saying bad things about you, they are doubting you, the power of God will prove them wrong. I said the power of God will prove your enemy wrong. He will penetrate and arrest their mind. They will start arguing with themselves to say, leave this man, leave this woman. He's giving us problem because of the power of God. Remember what happened to our Savior. John 9, 16. They started now, they were divided. Others were saying, this man is not from God. Others, no, this man is from God. Looking at the signs and wonders, he said, no, he does not keep the Sabbath. When the power of God is moving in you, it will give you deep understanding beyond what people are saying about your life. Don't trust your education. It is only Jesus. Reliable and dependable. You will drink the blood of Jesus. Mm, you will drink what? The blood of Your legacy will not be the legacy of your forefathers. Amen. Your legacy will be the legacy of Jesus. Amen. Even after your life, your grandchildren, the children yet unborn, will keep on talking about you and your God. Amen. As we are talking about Elijah, Abraham, Jacob, yours will be discussed beyond your age. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let them know those who are watching you, those who are, who are in control, over your blood, over your career, your wealth, your children. Let them see the sign that, ah, I can see the finger of God. I can see the finger of God. Leave this woman alone. Leave this man alone. If we continue like this, this person will give us problem. There you know that your father is in you and you are in your father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I promise you, you'll drink the blood of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you.